This is being filmed in early December 2020. We were supposed to have a full crew with us on this trip. At the last minute, we had to make a decision. We decided that it would be in the best interest for everyone's health that we postpone the trip. We've turned this into more of a scouting mission where we've been able to hit the trails, scout some things out, angles, shots, the works. And when we come back in April with the team, we are going to have a bigger and better experience and we're gonna have a lot more guests with us. And so, you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Dave, what, what are we doing here? What's going on? Oh man, we're in Sedona, Arizona, kicking off the Blind Dance Film Festival with See Sedona Blind. Yes. That's my documentary. Bringing blind people to Sedona to really experience everything we have to offer. There's so much out here that a blind or low vision person can really immerse all senses. Blind Dance Film Festival 2021. So what, what do you do like when you go hiking? What's, what's fun about it? What's fun about it? And I'm like, well, <laughs> number one, it's like Disneyland. Nice. It really is. It's just every single thing that you can experience tactily nice. with this cane. I feel like I'm painting. I'm painting the trail with every swipe of the wild thing. Mm. Nice. I've been out to Sedona before, mm -hmm. but the Blind Dance co-founder, Barry Asman, Barry. He's from the East Coast, and he has never seen anything like these hills. Um, I can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait to see the expression on his yeah. face, you know. <laughs> the shoes, you know, oh, the, 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 the black socks and the, you know, hey, Barry, where are your jeans, you know. <laughs> oh, Barry. I'm just, I'm just, Dave, I'm, I'm truly amazed how you maneuver and you make your way around each crevice mm. here. This is a whole new experience for me. I'm, I've never been a hiker. I've gone on trails in the past throughout my journey, but this is, you know, something that every person needs to take in and to experience. Now, what, I've heard you use the word vortex. Explain to me about the vortex. New Englander out in a vortex. Oh my I'm goodness. Dying. I see this one. I'm that excited. Great. On the, on, the, on the way up here, I was asking him what he thinks about energy and things like that. He's like, I'm open to it. I'm open to it. I've heard, I've heard some interesting things. <laughs> so let's see what that's like. My I'm man, Barry it. has been on the vortex. <laughs> What's up? It's, I'm just, you know, I've closed my eyes. I'm circling around here. You know, it's quite an interesting feeling here. What do you feel? What are you, what are you experiencing? You know, what am I feeling? Um, a, I feel the beautiful sun. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. uh, you can feel, I, I don't know, am, am I wrong to say that you can feel the mountains around you? No, you're not wrong at all. I mean, they're, you, they're, they're the, you can feel the, the energy. So this is about my vision for See Sedona Blind, is, is to get the people on these trails to, I mean, if you can get them out during the sun setting times, that's gorgeous, but get yeah. the people out here onto the trail with the wild thing and, and to feel, I mean, feel the rocks. You can feel the terrain, it's just amazing. Yes, it's, I feel like I'm painting the nature right now as I'm moving up. Painting it. it and I'm also not falling off the cliff at the same time. That. Thank you for not falling off the cliff. You're welcome. <laughs> you Thanks for inventing the wild thing so it doesn't make me have to. Right. And the two of us are gonna be on the trail asking questions of some of the coolest influencers that we know that are blind about what they're up to in the world this year. This, this was like the hike that Dave and I were going on where it was my turn. Dave would ask me about the origins of Blind Dance Film Festival. And it would be a game to see if I could talk and hike at the same time. And eventually we'd stop and I'd get to have an interview with Dave. And his dream, since he was a little kid and he heard for the first time a recording of Tibetan throat singing. Wow. And the second I heard that for the first time was on this documentary film when my man is hearing it for the first time. Wow. And his brother is a filmmaker. And I didn't meet his brother, but I met his brother's friend who helped on this film. And I'm sitting in this room with a real filmmaker. Mm. And little did I know I was going blind. 
at that moment. Really, right, exactly, at that moment, wow. in that room, did I know I was at that moment, literally so going blind, my eyes were going. And I'm watching this film with a blind man whose brother, who's a filmmaker, says, you want to go up there and learn how to Tibetan throat sing? Nobody will take you climbing up that mountain. I'm going, but we're making a movie about it. Wow. That's great. And I'm sitting there watching it. 45 minutes later, I'm crying, and he's going, oh, on a flipping Tibetan mountaintop with the monks, and they got the big horns, the That's man. That's awesome. And that very wow. moment, I knew more than, more than one thing. Number one, I'm a filmmaker. Yes. Because I'm going to be making films, because that changed my life forever. I don't know that you okay. and I'd be sitting here today if I hadn't watched okay. that film that day. And I look over at the guy that made the films and I go, this is what you do for your job. And he goes, yeah, kid. <laughs> I just start laughing. Like, I this guy's like, he's like, what the crap is wrong with the kid? I'll and I'm have just like, what he's having. <laughs>